All right, guys, here's a little taste of what we're going to see tonight, of course, with the Lambo crew cruising through uh, Plano. Of course, to start here, we got this gorgeous blue Lamborghini Murcielago here. And this color is super rare. Kind of looks black on camera and during the day, but it's actually this very dark blue. It's complete with tan interior. And of course, the Murcielago kind of has like that fighter jet-esque with the uh, vents going up like that. The owner recently got these gloss wheels here, so it really completes the look. And of course, the classic Lamborghini Gallardo here, the V10. This is actually um, not this particular one, but I got my first supercar ride in a Lamborghini Gallardo, so it is quite the sentimental car. Check that out. So really, it's a matter of choice, V12 or V10. Nice Audi R8 convertible here. Check out that color. Of course, got the carbon fiber mirrors. Silver five spoke wheels as well. Looks super clean. Check that out. Got a nice GT3 RS pulling up. Check out that wing. Oh my goodness. Super clean spec with the bronze wheels as well. And of course, the roll cage back there. Guys, got a brand new SL62 convertible here alongside this gorgeous GT3. Now, if you guys don't remember, I actually saw this at my gym like a few days ago. Went with the yellow brake calipers, but check that out. Number nine edition Continental. So the number nine edition is done in the same dark green as the Bentley blower car, the original one. You can kind of see there that the uh, wheels are also color matched. And if you check inside here, you can see just inside that center area, there's a little piece of leather from the original blow car that's in each number nine edition. And then of course the number nine badge right here that's actually done in gold. This car just has so many unique details. Of course, like the original car, it also has the number nine in the grill. I love this car. And of course these come in green, black. And I believe that's all the color options they offer for this one. So of course I need a quick delivery bring your piece to FedEx. Check this spec out. So it is Rosa Corsa with the black stripes. Pretty simple spec. Uh, not too many carbon fiber options on this. That can be carbon fiber. Of course, the front here can be carbon fiber. And then this rear area here with these small pieces here can be carbon fiber as well. So not too many options on this one. Very interesting green. Green brake coppers as well. Alright guys, so GT3 is in now good company here with this McLaren 720S here in this pretty nice dark blue. Of course, got all the carbon fiber options. The headlights, little vents there, front splitter. Check this spec out. And I actually saw this one the other day, but couldn't get a closer look at it because it drove off. But it's pretty nice, isn't it? Beautiful car. Yes, sir. Two very different rear ends here. Check that out. One thing I love about the 720S is the active rear wing here that kind of lowers and goes up whenever speeds get too high. And also the spec has these light blue brake calipers that kind of contrast with the dark blue. Super clean. All right, guys, got my first ever C8 Z06 spot in the wild. Check this out. C8 Z06. Wow, sounds amazing. Check that out. It does not have the wing. Gorgeous. Got the Lambo crew rolling through Legacy West. Check that STO out. Got a Huracan Performante, another Huracan. It's just extending, guys. Another Huracan. Wow. This is a lot of Lambos. It's a never ending line. Another Huracan here. Got a Performante Spider. Check that out. Got a Florida right up here. Purple Mercy Logo here with the SV kit. That is a wrap, but very clean. Huracan Evo. A Huracan right here. Vents it 
right there. Check that out. Got a shark blue 992 Turbo S here. Check this spec out. You can hear the Lambos in the background, but nonetheless, very cool spec on this Turbo S. All right, guys, so the Lambo crew has pulled up to Moxie's here, and you can see there are just sports cars upon sports cars upon sports cars here. So we can just kind of start from this end and kind of go around. Of course, got a Huracan over there, Gallardo, and Eva right here. Performante, Performante, Performante Spider. We got three Huracans over there, and I'll take a close look at that purple one. Uh, Gallardo right here. Got another Performante here, an Evo Spider. A Gallardo here that actually is not a Super Legera, like I had said earlier. And this Performante here, which is modded to look like an STO. And then, of course, this Huracan Spider right here. I got a few more Lambo V10s here. Got the uh, Huracan here, Gallardo. Another Huracan, Guardo, Huracan, Urus, and then there is a blue Huracan just over there. All right, guys, so we've got a pretty special lineup of cars here, starting off with the Mercedes Benz AMG GTR Pro. Now, they made only 750 of these cars, and you can tell it's Pro by the little front splitter there that's kind of extended, and these carbon vents right here, which really kind of give the car a more aggressive race like look. And of course, the iconic GTR wing right there. Pretty epic car. And those little can yards there too. That's also iconic to the Pro. Right here, we got this Ferrari F12. Now this one is extensively modified. It has a Novatec exhaust. You can kind of see that red interior in there too. And uh, some nice aftermarket wheels as well. Uh, I can tell you guys from experience, this car is extremely loud. It will blow your eardrums out. I am saying that from experience. Uh, the owner rev revved it for us one time and it is just absurdly loud. And of course, the iconic Mercedes-Benz SLS. Now everyone knows this car for the gold wing doors that it has. It's got kind of the extended hood bonnet and these little vents right here, just kind of like the SLR. Um, and of course that red leather interior, which kind of completes the look. Silver over red is not something I see often, but it is perfect on this particular car. Gorgeous lineup. You guys got a pretty nice little arrangement of LP610s right here. This purple one, comma I in particular, you can kind of see the interior there. It's uh, black with the red little inserts. This is a very interesting finish on this car. I do not know if this is a wrap or a paint, but if it is a wrap, it's pretty well done. I do like this quite a lot. This yellow Huracan over here is obviously wrapped. I think, actually, I'm not too sure. I know this red is definitely aftermarket, but I'm not sure about the yellow itself. But with the yellow interior, that is just a very, very uh, bold combination and of course this black LP610 right here has some pretty cool carbon fiber pieces on it such as the front splitter and then of course it has a nice little wing back here to add some more definition there we go this one's pretty clean actually I believe this one was actually wrapped purple before it got unwrapped to its factory color of black super clean little combo of hurricanes right here in the sea of Huracons and Gallardos, there's always one that kind of stands out. I think this one kind of stands out to me a little bit. Lots of mods on this one, of course, the carbon fiber front splitter. It's got the Strassi wheels right here. I believe this one also has an exhaust, but check that wing out. 
And this owner did have an STO at one point. I did not know what he did with it, but he currently has this Evo here. And yeah, there's the Rift exhaust. I knew it had an aftermarket exhaust. Super clean color. It's this like metallic orange color that kind of like in certain lighting kind of glows a little there. Really clean spec. All right, guys, so we got a McLaren GT right here in the valet, but check out this chalk gray 911 GT3 here. And this thing is pretty gutted out. Of course, got the yellow roll cage there. It's very beautiful brass looking wheels. Of course, the racing number adds extra horsepower and appropriately manual. Super nice. Check that out. All right guys, so appropriately my phone ran out of storage, so I'm currently recording on my friend's phone, but check out this GT3 RS here. Done in what I believe is Voodoo Blue. Super clean spec. I know I've said clean spec a lot in these videos, but this one right here is just really stunning. Check that out. And of course the big rear wing there for downforce on the track and some exhaust to make some noise when you're uh, spinning around the track or in this case, the city nonetheless. Very stunning spec.